morning, Libra. Welcome to your general forecast for March. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So welcome in, Libra. Hope everybody's doing well. So we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. It could come out love, general. We're just going to take whatever comes out. Messages most needed uh, for you at this time. So please only take what resonates <clears throat> and throw away the rest. Please do not try to make it fit. If it's not fitting for you, then it's not your story. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male, female. So let's see what is going on for you, Libra, at this time. And I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links below in the description box to your general and love playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that information is down below in the description box as well as pinned to the top comment and if you're not comfortable if you would like to tip or donate and you're not comfortable using uh, PayPal if you are watching this during the premiere only during the pre premiere a super chat is open and available for a donation that way also if you choose if you like to choose that method and if you do thank you all right so Libra let's see what's going on for you at this time this is a zodiac oracle so we could get a sign, element, or planet. I'm just going to see what kind of energy may be around you at this time. Oh, way too many. If you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, that is totally fine. Okay, so we have Virgo. So <clears throat> some of you could uh, be dealing with a Virgo, some way, shape, or form around you. Could be, you know, a friend, co-worker, family, lover. Could be anybody. Maybe you have Virgo in your chart. Uh, or maybe they have heavy Virgo in their chart. If it's not their sun sign, it could be their moon sign or their Jupiter or something like that. Uh, but if you don't know a Virgo, that, that's totally fine. Virgo in the tarot <clears throat> does represent the hermit, which is about going solo, going on a solo journey, and doing some deep, deep uh, healing and introspection work. So if that makes sense for you. But we'll see uh, what's going on with you, Libra. So the first thing I'm going to do here, Libra, is get an, get an opening message for you with this deck. Then I will also get another one for your energy. We'll clarify the energy here with the tarot. Look at the actual situation and whatever comes out. Um, advice for the situation, possible outcome, and then we'll pull some extra messages from that oracle deck. So let's see what your opening messages it, message is for Libra at this time, Spirit, please. I'm feeling that one. So we have spark 34 which is seven seven is a very divinely guided spiritual number so this could be spark of something new it could be a new relationship a new idea um a journey it could be anything so we have number 34 so i'm just going to read um a little snippet here <clears throat> you are a clear channel for divine creativity there is a spark of creativity in you, and you have every reason to move forward with optimism and hope. Open yourself to inspiration and allow life to show you its beauty in your part in co-creating it. This is the perfect time to give birth to an idea, start a new relationship or job, or begin any endeavor. Attraction is high as you can connect with others who can co-create joyous experiences and join with you in expressing the finer aspects of life. Watching a spark turn into a flame and stoking that fire is a gratifying activity. Wow, so this is a spark of something new here. So we're going to see what that spark is. What is that spark of something new? If you don't have a Virgo, maybe you've been uh, kind of going in, going within and doing some deep soul searching work, finding your path, your way, your light, thinking, contemplating. And like now you have a spark of something new here. All right, so let's see what is the energy. Oh, oh that's too many. So I'm going to take this one right here, energy for you. So we have goblins. Ooh, and five is about change. Oh, goblins is not a good energy, but let's see what it has to say for you. if I can find it fear is an illusion choose love today forgive yourself and others goblins are born when you're wounded and something essential is lost 
and that experience. From that point on, as you forget, go wholeness, they remain with you in the shadows. There may they There they may remind you of what brought them into being. By mimicking your own voice, tricking you into believing that you're unworthy, victimized, or unlovable, they hold you hostage through low self-worth, self-sabotage, and the feeling that you're lacking what you need. If goblins pay you a visit, know that they represent the shadow of your own self or someone else's and that they're leading you into a potentially reactive situation. A goblin's card's appearance is an opportunity for growth, however, and a signal that you must love yourself. No human is without flaws. The goblin's message is that you must release resentments and negative self-talk within you. It's the spark. Wow. And we have spark right there. I can't make this up. Of the divine. As spirit to help you he to help heal you, miracles can miracles can and do happen. Let go of the neg negativity. Wow. <clears throat> so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Spirit of place, and this uh, four, which is about stability, basis, foundation, kind of energy. We have four, and goblins here is five. And then Virgo is six, Libra is seven, and then Spark is seven too. So we got five, six, seven, but you're kind of stuck at seven. Ten would be a completion. So let's see, Golden Spirit of Place, number four. I'm just curious what this has to say for you, Libra. Authenticity is the essence of power. Our ancient ancestors believe that every place has a spirit looking after it or embodying it, just as we have a soul. The plants, trees, birds, mountains, and rivers have their own <clears throat> essences. When the spirit of place arrives in your reading, it says that the answer to your query is in the overarching theme of your circumstances. Is your question about a struggle? The answer is to relax and let go of your need to control the situation. If your inquiry relates to finding love, then embody love rather than long for it. Once you find the essential truth that underlies your question and then name it, you'll discover the answer you've been seeking. Your greatest power is your you know, authenticity. So that's like your, your own spirit of place of like know, knowing who you are, being stable and grounded, being like a high vibration and a good energy. So I mean, this goblins could have been something from the past. Maybe you had a uh, low vibrational energy before, and now you have like this new spark and zest for life, knowing your value, your worth, uh, feeling lovable again, feeling strong and confident kind of energy. You know, maybe with the Virgo, as with the Hermit, doing that, doing that deep healing and soul searching work. And now it's like you have a new spark for life and love and everything again. Maybe new ideas, creative endeavors whatever they are for you. So let's see. It's spirit of place. I mean, the word spirit is there, so maybe becoming spiritual also, also some of you. So let's clarify this energy for you, Libra. And I just want to give a shout out to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal reading, tip, donate, or send a gift. Thank you, thank you. All your support really doesn't mean a lot to me. And in honor of that, I have just reached 10,000 subs a few weeks ago. In honor of that, I'm having a contest. You can win a tarot deck along with a free 20-minute reading by me. So if you'd like to enter that, look in the description box below or the top comment, and you'll see everything you need to know on how to be entered into the contest. So if you do, thank you, and good luck to you. It'll be open through the month of March, and I'll close it uh, April 1st, and then I'll pick a winner. So read the instructions carefully and make sure you follow all the steps. Okay, so uh, Libra, Libra, what is going on with Libra? What is, well, that's way too many. Okay, I'm feeling that one. Oh, the star, and I had said healing. So here's your healing. Here's your peace and harmony. Here's um, wishes and dreams coming true. Faith, hope, optimism. Divinely guided energy for you. It's nice in the tower so <clears throat> tower can be a disruption but it, isn't that funny though because we have this says spark 
and looking look at the sparks coming out of the tower. I can't make this up. So the tower doesn't have to be something bad. It can be an epiphany, an aha moment, a surprise, a big realization, like something boom just hits you like lightning. But we'll see. Let's get more energy. Let's get more. I feel like the goblins, I mean, it could be <clears throat> people around you, but I think it might have been you yourself maybe feeling low self-esteem or for some reason, maybe for the longest time. But now it's like all of a sudden you've, you've had like this, a feeling like the, like this deep healing out of nowhere and like a deep connection, maybe to spirit and, you know, divine energy. And it's like that old you has been blasted out and now there's a new you full of spark and light and energy. Wow. Cause this person falling out is like naked, no clothes, nothing. So I feel like that stripped down version of you of all that toxic energy, I feel like has been healed. And now that part of you has just been blown away. And now you're standing strong and confident in the spirit of yourself and having like a new spark and zest for everything in life again. Wow. Okay. So let's get more energy on this for Libra. Libra. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. The moon energy with the star. So the moon and the star. <laughs> wow. That just goes hand in hand. I mean, this can be deep intuition, deep feelings and emotions. Um, <clears throat> it can also be, sorry, about maybe not seeing the path clearly, maybe being a little insecure about that. But things always come to light once the sun comes up. Hierophant. So again, I feel like some of you could, uh, maybe could be either very religious now or spiritual. Uh, this is, you know, morals, values, uh, staying committed to something. Um, can't talk about marriage and that kind of thing, but I'm not really getting that energy. Um, it's like being committed to the journey. Higher fitness is about commitment, structure, institutional things like the government and education and all that kind of energy. You may have educated yourself on spirituality, um, maybe even following, um, uh, like empowerment, you know, things and, and like that nature. I can't think of the terms I want to use, but if it comes to me, I'll say it. Motivational speakers, maybe, you know, following mo motivational speakers and you get more in tune in touch with religion and faith and that kind of energy. Maybe even going to therapy or counseling or uh, just supportive groups. Yeah, and now you're much stronger now. Wow. So, <laughs> wow. Very, I feel like you're like emotional about this. Like you can't, can't believe how far you've come out of the darkness into the light. You shed that old skin yourself. You, you just like blew it out of the water. Had this deep healing, deep emotional healing, I feel. Stayed committed to the journey and now you're so much stronger. You're confident. Um, you tame the beast from within willpower to go after what you want. Now a lot of confidence and, um, go getter kind of energy to a sword. So that's about being indecisive or not, you know, n not willing to make a choice about something. Maybe this was something you didn't see coming. It was like, just. I don't know, it just happened like one day you woke up and you were tired of being in that goblin energy, like um, that shadowy energy. And finally just made that, okay, I was just told to put it in reverse. So you were just, you, you made a decision here to come out of the darkness into the light and blow that old, that old self, that old you out. And now you're this whole new person. Wow. Okay. So Libra, let's get your actual situation here. The devil. Yeah. So there's a toxic energy. Exactly. Toxic overcome. 
toxic negative energy, low self-esteem, low value, fear, anxiety, stress, worry, doubt kind of energy. You know, it was a battle, a struggle here, and maybe it was a long journey for you to overcome this <clears throat> kind of energy. All right, so I, I don't know what your backstory was, but yeah, so there's your energy. <laughs> wow, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Now having truth and clarity, you're strong. You, you know, stand up for yourself. You tell it like it is. You don't take any BS. You cut away things no longer serving you. Standing strong and confident right in the middle of the spread here, connected to the Hierophant and strength. Wow. I feel like you overcome a lot and now you're really in your power. You overcome this toxic negative energy, this low vibrational energy of the goblins, of like, you know, that negative energy. So what else for you here? Libra, Libra, judgment. So, you know, you made a judgment call. You made a decision here to forgive things of the past, but move on and making that final decision, a judgment call, life review, and move on from that energy. All right, what else here for Libra? chariot so now you're moving forward wow a lot of majors here so i feel like this was something major that you went through so now you're moving forward with you know drive with that strength energy the strength driving the chariot forward with determination victory success balance you know just going for it going after life now wow not caught up in that dark energy anymore i feel like you're just going after the light now wow Okay, so we have death. This is your advice. So we have death in reverse energy here. Now, death indicates, you know, transformation, ending of something, and transformational energy. But what I'm getting with this message is that not to whatever your journey is, whatever your direction you're going in life now, I mean, if death was upright, that would be like ending something. But in this re reverse position, it's kind of like not wanting to let something come to an end. So what I'm getting from spirit is how you're moving forward now and the energy you're in, don't stop. Don't ever let that end. <clears throat> don't let ever let that energy, that light, that spark die out to keep going. That's your advice. I'm going to get a few more here for your advice, for you, advice for you, Libra, three of cups energy, so going out now, spending quality time with friends, family, co-workers, or whatever, going out, having a good time, celebrating, being in high vibration, you know, having a good time, it's celebrating life, celebrating life. Yeah, here's your brand new beginning. It's like a whole new beginning in life, being more stable and grounded, abundant. Um, it's like the start of something new, divinely guided for you. Now being on this path, committed to this path, moving forward in this energy, don't ever let that spark fade out. And here is your stability and your abundance for the long term, divinely guided for you. All right, one more. Libra, the Knight of Wands. So again, that fiery passion energy, going after what you want. You keep moving forward next to the chariot to just keep moving forward with that drive, the ambition, that passion, go-getter energy to just keep on moving forward. Wow. So let's see, will you stay in this vibrational energy moving forward? Let's see what your outcome will be for you, Libra. Libra, please. Yeah, to your Ten of Pentacles. So now you have the Ace all the way to the Ten. Total wealth, abundance, prosperity, um, stability for the long term, for the rest of your life. If you stay in this energy and you keep moving forward and don't ever go back to that dark energy, 
You have the Ten of Pentacles waiting for you. Wow. It's a good energy. It's like a treasure chest there. Nine of Swords. So yeah, sometimes you still have a little fear, stress, worry, anxiety, maybe sleepless nights, doubts and fears. But this is minor because it's just a minor. It's the Nine of Swords. It's not the devil. The devil, you overcame the devil already. This is just the nine, so it's minor. So it's a little minor, you know, things you may go through, little little minor setbacks. But um, I feel like, you know, you overcome that. So let's get one more Libra. The lovers. So you have the potential now to meet a soulmate. You know, if you say you were single for a very long time, you know, if you were in a low vibrational energy, feeling unlovable, unworthy, you know, having fear, stress, or anxiety, all that energy, maybe you've been alone for a very long time, but now <clears throat> you do have the lovers here. So this could be just making right choices for you that's aligned for you um, in your best for your, you and your, in your vibration. But you could have the potential here of meeting your soulmate in the future. And maybe that's something you stress over too. You know, it's like, I'm feeling good. I'm celebrating, got friends, family. You know, I'm feeling abundant, successful. You know, all that area is good, but maybe you're stressed and worried. You may not meet a soulmate, but the energy is here that yes, that you will in the future meet a soulmate here. Because you do have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot. So a lot of positive energy overcoming that devil toxic energy. So let's see what's on the bottom. So here's your leap of faith, jumping right in, a brand new start, resetting at zero. And I feel like you did this with this deep healing. Seven of Swords. So I feel like that you're turning your back on your old life, your old ways, your old negative thinking, leaving that all behind, cutting it out with the sword energy. Now, you know, moving it forward. And I had felt like it could have been a long journey for you. Pentacles are very slow. So again, moving forward with, you know, a lot of stability, practicality, being smart, working on yourself, working on all aspects of your life with the Eight of Pentacles. Now being like a Queen of Pentacles, again, stable, grounding, knowing you value your worth, um, abundant. Again, with the healing, I feel like after a long period of healing, thinking, contemplating. And now we have another soulmate card here with the Two of Cups. This is being totally aligned with you, your life, who you are on the inside now, and also potential here for a soulmate and manifesting this whole new beginning for yourself. Wow. So we have Gemini, Virgo. We have uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Aquarius, Aquarius, Aries, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Leo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, S Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini. So those are the other signs that I see. <clears throat> wow. Okay. So let's get some extra messages for you here, Libra. I do ask Libra, especially if you're new. Uh, you can check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You'll get five readings a month. You get two love, two general, and a bonus. So let's see what extra messages we have for Libra at this time. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What extra messages do we have for Libra? Thank you so much. Libra. Extra messages for Libra. Spirit, please. Take no offense. 53 is about eight. So that is, uh, eight is about action, travel, communication. So this is like, don't let any kind of, if anybody says anything to you, don't take offense to anything, you know, in the future to get, get back in a low vibrational energy. You know, just let it go, let it fly. You know, it is what it is. Just like, okay, take it with a grain of salt. Don't take offense to things, maybe like you have in the past. All right, so what else do we have? Open your heart. 15, 6. 6 is a very balancing healing number. So again, I do feel like for some of you that have been nervous about 
a soulmate that I do see a soulmate also coming in for you. All right, they could be Gemini or Cancer Scorpio Pisces. All right, so we have Rise and Shine. Again, going out of the darkness into the light, now getting up every morning, opening up yourself into the light. And I had said that once the moon, uh, the sun always comes up and sheds light. So 56 is 11. 11 is being led, divinely led, going on the right path, things getting better. But then that's two, which is about unity and partnerships. So rise and shine, being your best self, going after life every day. And only you can decide the outcome of your fate and destiny moving forward. Do you stay in this high vibration or do you fall back into your old patterns, negative patterns? 74, again, is 11. So the number 11 coming up again. And on the bottom of the deck here, we have spread the light. 95, which is 14, is 5, is about change. So again, it's about coming out of the darkness into the light and now being the light and spreading that light. Libra and staying in that energy. Wow. Good for you, Libra. So best of luck to you, Libra. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.